So I'm a big advocate for measuring as often as possible. And there's always a caveat to that. I think it's important that the person who's measuring understands that each time you measure, it's not a, a report card. It's just a progress report. It's not a measure of you as a person. And if it, the more I can get people to realize that it's just information, it's just data points that we can use to apply to the plan, the more that I think that we'll be able to succeed. That being said, we can weigh ourselves every day. We can use a scale, for example, and there's gonna be fluctuations. That's absolutely normal. But if we take the days that it's down as a positive, the days that it's up as a negative, it's, a, it's an emotional roller coaster. But more than anything, the scale as a short-term tool is unreliable. It's not, it doesn't tell us enough. And we shouldn't really get tied up on the specific numbers on a day-to-day -day basis. But as a long-term tool, it's very good. And sometimes it's hard to sort of wrap our head around that. It's, if you measure yourself every day, and then after 30 days, we look at the, the sort of the graph it's created, and we see that it's going up and down. But in general, as it comes down, it's coming lower. As it goes up, it doesn't come as high as it used to. And then it goes down. There's a trend. That is the application of, of, of that tool over time that creates the value. It's great as a long-term tool because we can look at trends. And trends are the most important. The delta, the change, is the most important thing. Not any individual measurement. So the scale, I will always say, is an overrated tool. It is not a reliable tool in the short term. So each individual measurement, but absolutely is underrated and a very valuable tool and very reliable if we look at it over a long period of time.